Hey, so what's going on, everybody? So I thought on the last time that, it, you know, it just ran out of gas. This thing actually vibrated this thing all apart. So I had to kind of put it back together. And it was a little, it was a little difficult get starting it up again. Um, but um, I ended up also taking off this side because the things that were screwing it down basically like vibrated so much the, the they unthreaded themselves. I mean, it's just vibrating bad. I, if I get more than five more uses out of this thing, then it'll be that I'll be lucky. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for a better one. But anyways, um, let's move on to the uh, garden update. <laughs> Hey, so you saw me removing these leaves down here. Um, I should have used a pruner, to be honest. Um, but while I was down here, I just did it, and you know, bad on me. But it would have been better to use a pruner. I think I'm gonna be okay. Um, but uh, uh, I have a sprinkler back there, and I wanted to be able to reach in the yard, so that's why I kind of trimmed it down. So down at the end of my vertical garden, um, the wheat is definitely ready to harvest. So we'll be doing that in the next day or two. Um, these tomato, I didn't realize were cherry tomatoes, but yeah, they're going to be cherry tomatoes. I'm wondering if they're going to be uh, the colorful ones, like the multicolor, I should say. That would be pretty cool. Down here, I think uh, when we first did the garden update, um, these beans were only coming to right here. And now they are almost at the very end. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's see, we're... As you can see here, we're starting to get the beans in, so that's pretty cool. Um, I thought there was one other coming in down here, but uh, I don't see it right now. But um, yeah, so, whoops, I've got this guy. Need to go ahead and wrap it around. I believe this is a red pepper tree, um, sweet pepper. Um, but actually, I'm not sure because these flowers just looks a little bit different. I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. I guess we'll see. That's, that's kind of the thing I enjoy about gardening is it's almost like Christmas every day. It, things just popping up new and everything. Sweet peppers still kind of coming in. Kind of small, but hey, whatever. This one, oh, that one wasn't doing so good. Probably should have had this. Just feed it to the plants. Um, onions still holding up a little bit stronger than I thought. Um, I have not yet checked to see when it's time. It might even be already time to harvest them. So we got about six or maybe eight plums out of this thing. And man, I, you know, I see some people on the gardening channels on YouTube just talking about how some things are just so delicious. Some, uh, you know, at first I thought they were exaggerating, but plums, having them from your garden and not from the store, that's, they, they really are on a whole nother level. Um, I don't know how these peaches are gonna taste. This is the first time they're coming in, so I'm pretty excited to see how those are gonna taste. You can really see the peaches starting to come in on this thing. This is really doing good. To be honest, I'm kind of concerned with these small branches that the peaches may over uh, weight it, um, the branches, and some of them might snap. What I'm gonna do real fast is about three, four days ago, I did this video. Today is July 5th, and I just put this avocado tree in the ground a couple of days, and today in San Diego was the hottest day. Um, and you can just see what the sun, how the damage this thing just did, and it's all drooping over. So what I'm going to do as soon as I stop this video is I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, tie this up here so it has some extra support. Um, I had actually re removed all the other supports thinking that the tree would be good. Um, but man, I, I, I'm just amazed on how, how much... Uh, how much droop and how much abuse the sun took gave this avocado tree today um but uh yeah so it, it, this might also be because it's now in the soil but i really think it's due to the heat because until today man look at this right here it's just shriveling and everything until today this thing was uh doing great it was thriving hard um but on the but on today, with this crazy sun, you know, at the hottest day, it got up to like 91 or 92 here at the house. Uh, and this thing just drooped over. But all right, so I'm going to enter this clip into the other part of the garden update. See you tomorrow. 
And now, after you've seen that, um, the le I, I probably need to put up some cheesecloth because the, the sun is really just baking these top leaves. And to be honest, I'm not sure why because all these other ones down here seem to be doing just fine. Maybe maybe these are just high enough to be getting sufficient sun to really be burning it. Um, but So I, I'll probably have to come out and do some shade cloth over that. Uh, but got the mulch down, as you saw, from the um, chipper shredder. Pomegranates coming in. Um, we got about three, four, five, six. C six right now. Plus we got flowers coming in, and peppers are doing coming in. Uh, don't see any growth yet as far as uh, uh, the uh, sweet peppers. But man, this 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 avocado it's still very green, so it tells me it's surviving. Maybe it's just putting a lot of the energy into developing its roots. But I'm not seeing any leaves, so. Um, I hope this thing hurries and gives some leaves and starts done, doing some photosynthesis to keep it alive. You can see these new leaves are probably getting a little sun baked too, so I need to probably do do some sun uh, shade cloth over here also. Ashwagandha just beasting it, can't keep up with it. Uh, I'm expecting the elderberry tree to be producing sometime soon. I don't know exactly when it is. I'll have to double check and see when that is. See if we, if we picked up the eggs yet? Nope, we got one egg here. I'll come back for it. Hey girls, what you doing chicas? You say hi for the camera? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I bet if I come over here to the door, you guys will all get real excited. Oh yeah. You guys are trying to act like you don't want out or something, trying to fake it. But anyways, um, the orange tree is these these are the new growths coming in i'm actually looking to see if uh maybe there might be some other growth um but uh yeah it seems to be doing pretty good here um this i forget which grain this is called i had plant i i, I get seeds from them all over i just throw them and things pop up and i don't even know what it is um, on the last update i talked about how trying to train the mango tree um, so that it starts forming the way i want it so if you kind of look at the angle what i'm trying to do is to get it to kind of pr maybe provide some shade um over um, this little cage area where i have the compost but if you kind of zoom in right let's get around this leaf there's some more growth coming in so this thing is really just wanting to grow and become the tree that it that it, it's meant to be and this thing i it, I mean, I hope the I hope these mangoes are just delicious, man, because this thing is just this thing was fighting forever. Like it, it seemed like it had four leaves for maybe almost two years, just holding on strong. And then it started to grow slow and slow. Like I said, this is the little engine that could. Um, but some of the roses are really starting to come in. I think I'm going to try to prune this. I'm going to try to do something a little special. So I will get back to how I'm going to prune these roses. I've seen a couple of things, um, but we'll get back to you on that. And just lastly, this is the Peruvian pepper, ahi um, amarillo. And starting to see some flowers coming in all around here. And this thing, I thought, may not, we, we transplanted it over here and it took a little bit for it to start to take, but it really, as you can see, just nice and dark leaves, although it's getting some extra nitrogen from the birds. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's starting to come through and we, we, we'll probably get some good fruit this year. Good correction, good peppers. Um, just love making this thing with Papa Alavancaina. Um, screwing up the pronunciation, but I love the taste of it. So that's going to do it for this video. I've um, got a couple of things coming up. I'm actually really excited because uh, the parts that I had ordered for my uh, wood planer have come in. Um, so I, I need to fully disassemble that, clean it up, and then start assembling it. But I think I have all the parts now. Um, even something that I broke and was very costly, so stay tuned for that. Um, and also I got the, um, you're, you're seeing that the, I'm finished the, the wood bench is all, almost, all the videos I should say, is almost complete. Um, and I've gotten in two things. Um, since then, I've gotten in some dyno mat. I really want to put on the grinder and see if I can reduce the vibrations going to the bench because I'm going to show you why, um, just how bad it is. You, you probably have already seen it on some videos. Um, but this is kind of an experiment. I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, and, the, and then the last thing is, is I picked up some casters um, that should be able to engage and disengage so I could be able to, uh, when they engage, roll my workbench around and then disengage them so that they're really just um, on the strength of the bench legs themselves. But I got to kind of figure out a couple of ways on how to approach that. Um, not that many gnats over here are flies or insects because those black soldier flies, I think, have kind of doing their dominance. 
um, but still a little bit I got to keep an eye out for. Um, but it's time to clean up. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick update, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.